This is a big one. Playoffs big one. start so many other places in my poker league. This is the final regular season week to see who goes. How's for bragging rights. Doing, by the way? I don't care. <laughs> Well, hit it. DJ, DJ loves, Mikey D, you know, hit my music. Kaboom. Guess who stepped in the room? It's been a while since I said that. Look, week 15, time to get you right for fantasy. Guys, Chris, Mike, as I've done most this year, I've kind of like picked guys on the fringe edge of fantasy, right? Guys that you might not think of. But today, we're just going to go right into the meat of it. I'm going to tell you this week, week 15, your fantasy football playoffs. Feel confident rolling with him. Russell Wilson. Oh, Russell wow. Wilson is him this week, guys. And I'm going to explain to you why. Four of the past opposing QBs against the Lions have scored at least 23 fantasy points. And the Lions allowed 22 fantasy points per game to opposing quarterbacks this year. We were all kind of hard on the Broncos the last season and a half. But now Russ and Sean Payton, they've kind of turned this thing around. Cortland Sutton, low key, like I said, one of the best receivers in football. I think, no, I know. If you have Russell Wilson, feel confident in him, starting him going forward through the playoffs because he will be him for you this week. I guarantee. I tell you this, though. With so many starting quarterbacks out now, Mm -hmm. I bet you Russell Wilson's available on some fantasy league's waiver wire. Yeah, he is not 100%. I can't um, imagine. So, Because there's a ton of people looking for Mm -hmm. options right now. So... What else you got? You, that's a very good point there, Rich. Also, I try to make those. <laughs> you know who else is him really quickly? Rashad White, running back for the Bucks. He's Up been great lately. Packs is, right, for us, right? The sleeper oh, league. Man. The Packers have allowed the second oh, most man. production to opposing running backs this season. So there's that. Tampa Bay comes into this game. You know, they're the underdog, but... I got a great feeling about Rashad White, man. Uh, he ranks third in wide receiver or running back, excuse me, usage this season. He's a top 10 option this week. If you've got him, feel confident. Rashad White is going to be him as the Bucks take on the Packers. Now, he's in our fantasy footballers yes. league team, mm-hmm. and we, we just don't need him this week. You know why? Because we're We stacked. got the bye. Oh, okay. We're Damn. number one in the league. Oh, we didn't finish one. I didn't look. <laughs> we have dominated. Oh, everyone we don't this need year. him this week. We <laughs> yeah. did a very we're good job. Back. In that. You know what? With a bunch of fantasy football experts. We're going off to fantasy Cabo this week. What hey. else we got to do? Hey. Somebody call up Simpson. <laughs> what else? <laughs> we know who's not him, unfortunately, this oh, week. Hey. Who is? Kyler Murray. Oh, Rich. Uh, yeah, okay. Going up yeah. against, and I'm sorry, uh, Rich. He's going no, up right. against the Niners. You know, he's only played the Niners one time in the past three seasons. Did you know that? Due to injuries and various other things. Now, look, Josh Dobbs did score 27 against the Niners in place of Murray in week four. But he's only one of four quarterbacks who scored 20 against them this season. If you've got to roll with Kyler, roll with him. But if you have any other option, like Russell Wilson, uh, maybe you might want to roll with that because I just mm. don't see Kyler Murray being All right. this week. Also, we talked about the Bengals. I said there might be some Bengals things on here. T. Higgins, not him, against the Vikings. You know, he's only scored one touchdown this season, Yeesh. and that was week two. Ooh. Vikings D, very tough to throw against. They've allowed one touchdown to a receiver since week 10. I'd say if you've got better options, roll with them. I just don't see T. Higgins being him this week. Mm-hmm. And just two other guys that you roll with. You know, I like to say your head or gut kind of roll with one or the other. I'm just going to give you two names really quick that you might want to roster if they're not. I guarantee this guy's not rostered. Noah Brown, wide receiver of, of the Texans. Look, he got shut out last week. But C.J. Stroud had a bad game. We all believe he's the rookie of the year. We all believe he's next in terms of great quarterbacks. He's not going to have another awful game like he did. And with Nico Collins out, Tank Dell out, Noah Brown is in line to have a big game against the Titans this week. So I'd say roll with him if you have him. Also, Isaiah likely tight end of the Ravens with Mark Andrews out. Lamar loves going to the tight end. He had a huge breakout game last week. And the Jaguars, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, they they allowed 27 points to David and Joku last week, Ooh, tight end. Yep. So, Isaiah Likely he might be a guy to get you over that hump, and that's the fantasy advice. All right, TJ Jefferson with the fantasy advice right here. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.